Listen up, little bums. This is First Ghost and Maru talking. You're still trying to get through the witness's portal, huh? That ain't a door you can just kick open. You even asked some leftover worm for answers. Too bad she led you right to us. Now you need help from the one witch nobody can trust. My boss, Sabathu. Even though she's temporarily dead, she left instructions for this very situation. As usual, you maggots are three steps behind. Savathun will help you on one condition. First, deal with her sister, Sivorath. She's the Hive God of War, and the Witness's best general. It's a win-win, see? Don't look so sour. You've already got everything you need. I suggest you start with a witch of your own. The Witness poses a dire threat, and the Witch Queen holds the answers we seek. But only if we contend with her sister. Amaru has promised us a method for defeating Zivuarath, arranged by Savathun before her death. There is a spire atop her throne world sanctum, a place of dire experiments where she abused the light. With this knowledge, Imaru and I have devised a powerful artifact infused with hive magic. It will allow you to dispel the Witch Queen's trickery and master the spire through a ritual of our own. Even in death, the Witch Queen lays her snares for us. Be careful, Guardian. This is a real privilege, so act like it. Savathun doesn't open a spire to just anyone. If such a place exists... Why lie, when the truth is so much more dangerous? You are not the Witch Queen, and the Guardian is far more dangerous. Please. Sivor Rath is too much for you to handle. You need our help. Imaru, tell your Lucid Hive to stand down. Seven orders are for them to guard the spire. I'm sure your little glowworms can handle it. Exactly what we wanted to avoid. The Witch Queen knew she could entice us with a common goal. Removing the threat of Zivurov. Yeah. And she knew the Vanguard had a little hive acolyte of their own. That's why she's opening up a spire. She thinks you've got what it takes. Void crystals bend reality through tightly channeled power. Shatter them to break their control. Staff to cast a little spell of your own. Spires just up ahead. Don't need more than some lightless lackey's fancy eyes to see it. 
This is where the Witch Queen fell, and you fled for your life. Remember that. We should focus. That was a fluke. Your guardians got lucky. Really? How many of your apostate ghosts have seen the Guardian's mercy? Don't you threaten me. I am not threatening you. I am telling you what the Guardian will do. So where is this spire? You'll see. Start the ritual to bring down Samathun's illusion. magic and have entwined it with your light whatever you face next will test that power to its limits you think your guardians are up to scratch what will we find inside the spire a way to take down her sister that's all she told me and that's all i'm telling you and she'll uphold her bargain give us the information we need I'll bring her back as soon as Evo's taken care of. Then you can ask her yourself. Hmm. Guardian, traverse the spire. We shall see what morsel of truth awaits us.
There is nascent light to be found here. We must stoke it and harness its power. Be prepared for anything. echo through these halls. She whispers from the past, anticipating each outcome. She left you some recordings. It ain't that deep. You've accepted my proposal. We have mutual interests after all, despite our bad blood. You might not believe me, but I love my sister. But to us hive, love is death. No one knows more about killing her than I do. Something vile at the heart of this place, steeped in hive magic, but bound by the light. Savathun planned for this moment. She knew the Guardian would end up here eventually. There is more than two. charged light within the ritual circle. Thank you. 
spire is alive with light. We have redirected the Witch Queen's spells and empowered it to some end. I am not certain. Hive runes manifest here. Discern their pattern and traverse the Witch Queen's labyrinth. Meet with me, Guardian. I will prepare the ritual. Zivurath draws strength from our conflict. She believes her logic absolute. I will grasp it, and contravene its power. There is no other way. Will you come back from this? Does it matter if I do? What I am has served me, and has served humanity. Oh God, Zitat, Sen. This is what Savathun wants. We serve our interests, not Savathun's. She's outmaneuvered you again. You need me. We need your silence. Do not be afraid. Bear witness to my sublimation. Separate. 
message the true from the dead. I am the many-mouthed hunger. I am the knife-edged truth. I devour the free. I conspire with my vengeance. I will take what I need. The words in my throat are the weapon in my fist. I art. I art. I art. to become strong enough to defeat Zebu Arath. She draws power from all conflict. She is the blade breaker, war, drinker, conqueror, immortal. I ought drown her in blood. Add your voice to the chorus of violence. Let us show her what it is to be hive.
Guardian, Eris has detected a gravitic anomaly beneath the spire. She thinks it's a ritual chamber. We call that the Arcane Oubliette. Savathun stores all kinds of drooling goons in there. Warm bodies for her magical experiments. If you want to feed blood and guts to your discount hive god, that's the place to do it. Subjects being summoned from. 
Some kind of suspended animation? Or well, maybe they're teleported from somewhere right into your gun sights. Ah, but what do you care? They're all just dead meat to you. Conjures forth horrors once cloistered, awaiting brutal deliverance. And so they shall receive it.
the name of retribution for the love. Bell, Luriana, Omar, Ty, the Tolan. Tithe unto me, Acolyte. I ought. Guardian, the value of the magic you've unearthed here is undeniable. But watching you and Eris revel in violence, tithing with hive rituals, it was disturbing. Like it or not, your witch is gonna need a lot more ties before she's powerful enough to challenge Zivu. So go ahead, sport. Make a mess. Enjoy yourself. Welcome to the hive. It's hard not to feel that this is my responsibility. While we in the tower gathered intel and debated over what action to take next, Eris threw herself into a dangerous ritual of her own devising. She was audacious. And she was right. We had to accept Savathun's bargain. We must pursue the witness at any cost. But I didn't imagine we would risk Eris in the exchange. She remains herself. I recognize Eris when I look into her eyes. She wears her new form like a suit of armor, but she speaks of whispers calling to her from the deep, and I have no assurance she can resist them forever. You must embrace the Hive rituals as she did. Offer your tithes so that she may gain the power she desires, and quickly commit yourself to her guardian. I believe it is in everyone's best interest to keep her metamorphosis as brief as possible. Hive magic reveals itself in precise shapes. They follow the same lines and the same means, and yet our rituals still hold many secrets. Cards have scattered in the wake of your oblations. Our bond made manifest. I call them the Deck of Whispers. And they do whisper. Each of their ideograms appears to carry the weight of symbolism. Do not fault them for the forms they take. They are reflections of the real, and as opaque as the natures of their referent. We will interpret their configurations, divine their use. They may hold many meanings, alone and in conversation. As with all hive magic, they ask us to separate the true from the dead. We will do so. 